hello 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 welcome to my youtube channel welcome facebook viewers welcome tiktok viewers welcome instagram viewers welcome um twitter viewers welcome tiktok it's your girl ina i love you for watching thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you for liking my videos thank you for commenting thank you for always viewing may god richly bless you so let's get into the scripture that i'm about to read to you guys today so my scripture reading is going to be coming from the book of Luke 14, 26, verse 27. That says, Then shall you begin to say, We have eaten and drunk in that process, and thou hast taught in our street. 27 said, But he shall say, I tell you, I know you're not where you are. Depart from me, all you workers of iniquities. Then shall be weeping and grunting of teeth, wherein you shall see Abraham and Isaac. And Jacob and all the prophets in the kingdom of God, and you yourself trust out. And they shall come from the east and from the west, verse 29, and from the north and from the south, and shall sit down in the kingdom of God. And behold, there are last which shall be first, and there are the first which shall be last. The so guy saying that it should be the last in the day of judgment shall be first, and the first shall be last. And God is saying that many will come to me in that day of judgment and say, I knew you, I preach in your name, I prophesy in your name, I heal the sick in your name, I lay hand on the sick in your name, and they become whole. And God will say, depart from me, all you workers of iniquities, I do not know you. So God is strictly, basically talking about these false prophets that sent from the kingdom of hell, that are performing miracles and wonders in, the na in his name. And they are not part of him and they do not believe in him and they don't trust in him but they are doing miracles in his name fake miracles false prophecies god is saying to them i will say to you in that last day i do not know you depart from me or you workers of iniquities so that's why you have to believe and trust in god and know that the work that you're doing he is backing it up and he's behind you that you're not performing miracle wonders and signs from the enemy and the enemy is not using you to destruction he's not using you to take you to hell so god is saying that in that very last day the day of judgment when he will soon when he will return which is soon he will soon return he will be judging the living and the dead and in that day all those false prophets false teachers false evangelism false um, um miracle workers that are going around performing signs and wonders in his name and do not belong to him belong to the kingdom of darkness god is saying in his word today I will say to you, depart from me. All you workers of iniquities, I do not know you. You was doing these miracles in your father's Satan's name, not in my name. Okay? So God is saying that turn away from your evil ways and seek him wholeheartedly. And if you call upon him, he will answer you and show you great and mighty day. God is telling the fake and pro false prophets that are out there teaching his name, performing miracles in his name, and they do not belong to him. They are not of him. Stop. Repent. Turn away from your evil way. And repent and i will heal you and i will forgive you and i will change you but you have to live right and you have to be what god and do what god have called you to do do not prophesy do not teach do not lie in his name and you know behind the scene you're working for the devil the devil is using the leading the devil is using to lead many to hell not to the kingdom of god god is saying that very last in his word today in the book of luke that I will say to you, depart from me, you workers of iniquities. I do not know you, and you will not be able to enter into the kingdom of heaven. You will go to the lake of fire where your father is that you have performed and taught in his name. So God is telling us through his scripture today, live right, okay? Live holy. Stop using his name in vain and stop performing signs and wonders in his name. And you know you belong to the devil. Turn away, turn away and repent and he will heal you heal your learn and change you okay so god is saying to us we should live the way he wants us to live we should live holy we should live righteous okay we should not allow the enemy to use us he should be the one using us for his glory stop doing things in god's name and you know you're not for god god said choose you this day whom you may serve okay the book of josh joshua says as for me and my house we will serve the lord as for me and my house we will serve the lord so choose you this day who you will serve if you're on God's side, stay on God's side. If you're the devil on the devil's side, stay on the devil's side. Do uh, you cannot serve two masters. You either hate one, the word of the Lord said, and love the other. 
but you have to choose the side of the law if you want to spend eternity with him. If you do not want him to deny you the last day when he return or a day of judgment, say he did not know you. I do not know you depart from you. If you don't want to hear that from the Lord, change your ways, change your evil ways, live right, live holy, do what he has called you to do and continue to allow the Holy Spirit to lead you. Okay, draw near to him and he will draw near to you. So this is the word of the Lord for you and I today that we should turn and change our evil ways, change our bad habits, live righteous, live holy, draw near to him and he will definitely draw near to you and I because he loves you and he have the very best interests. Okay, it's your girl Ina. I love you for watching. See you in my next one. Be safe. Go with God. Mwah. <laughs>